So how did you learn how to swim? Well, one way I tried to learn how to swim, but didn't do too well because the water was too cold. But one summer when I was up in, in uh, Canada visiting my great aunts who lived on Lake Huron at the beach, and one day I went down to the beach. I was about 12 years old at that time. I went down to the beach, and there was nobody on the beach. It was a private beach. But after I'd been there for a little while, here came a man from next door. I didn't know him, I knew he didn't live there, and it turned out that he was visiting the people who lived there, he and his wife. And the women had gone shopping, and the man who lived there, I think, was taking a nap or something. And so he got bored and he came down to the beach to see who was in the beach. Well, nobody was on the beach but me. So he came over and started talking to me. And I think he must have been with me for about 45 minutes before he gave up <laughs> back in. And he found that I didn't know how to swim. So he took me out in the water and tried to teach me how to swim. We had a good time. Uh -huh. I had no idea who he was, of course. But my great aunt, Ella, uh, Kate, was sitting up on the, on the, on the uh, bank where it was about 20, 25 feet up there. And she saw him and she knew exactly who he was. And she was keeping an eye on me to make sure nothing happened, I think. But uh, we had a very nice conversation. He was very, very friendly. So that's how I didn't quite learn how to swim. Say who it was. Oh, it was King George. <laughs> the guy who no, abdicated. No, I think it was King Edward. Come to Edward. Think of it. I think he was supposed to be Edward. And then he abdicated to his younger brother, who was, became George. Uh -huh. they, the kings always take special names when they become kings. Yeah, so that was the guy from the king's speech that abdicated the throne. Yes, that's, that's right. really the guy from the king's speech. Tried to teach you how to swim. Yeah, that's who it was. <laughs>